Hey guys, it's Corey with the Corey Mayo team at Ocean Atlantic Sotheby's and today I'm doing an updated, updated, updated driving tour at Peninsula Lakes located in Millsboro, Delaware. So let's set off here and see what has changed at Peninsula Lakes since the last time I was here. All right, so it is January 2023, so we are missing all of the blooms and flowers and trees and everything, but we'll get an idea on construction, what has changed and what's going on here. I'm coming in the same entrance that I always come in, so this is gonna be the same, obviously just lacking some of the color. The first thing, the first biggest change that there is, is there's a new model. So before there was an Ainsley, which was part of their Kincaid series homes, um, now there is a brand new Wimbrel model that is stunning. It really is a beautiful model. So if you're considering a Wimbrel for whatever community, it's definitely worth giving me a call so we can go and check out that Wimbrel and see uh, see what you think of it compared to some other um, possible options um, of Wimbrels. Uh, so that's the big thing. Everything else in this part is going to be the same. Uh, now. Uh, we're going to go a little bit of different route, make a, a U-turn, and then come back in. Normally, when I come in, I would make a left. We've been down that way. Nothing has changed down that way because that way is all built um, and completed. Everyone has moved in. So we're going to go straight ahead. Um, this used to be a dead end. There were some hail bays that were uh, down, or uh, some uh, bales of hay that were across the roads so that we couldn't enter. Um, now we're able to get through here. Um, looks like uh, 201, which is one of my clients, his, uh, his house is now, foundation just got poured, probably just this week. Uh, so we have some available home sites that are in here, but this is all new compared to the last time that I was, was here. Um, obviously they're, they're moving quick and, and getting things done. Uh, at Peninsula Lakes, it does range from you know, one story homes to uh, large two story homes. Up here on the left is a client of mine. This is a Chesapeake that is really optioned out with lots and lots of abilities. So that is a really, really big house. And then we have a beautiful Mayberry right across the street. That's a nice one story home. Uh, and then pretty much everywhere, everywhere in between, we have you know some uh, some Wimbrel. Wimbrel is a, a very popular model. Um, another client of mine. This is a, a really stunning Shearwater. This white with black windows and black accent um, Shearwater. This is all on the pond. That's a really beautiful house. So this is all new. Um, not a lot of options uh, as far as building here, but behind here, there's tons of options. Um, this is where the next phase um, has opened up. So this road, I believe this weekend was just finished that you can actually drive on it now. So we have lot one, I believe, yeah, 183. This is a client of mine right here building a Kingfisher. Um, it's great, this is my first time being on this road so we can check this all out together. So a lot of home sites along this new road here are available. So we have woods uh, on either side. They're building some berms here to break up the view in the back of the home. Uh, so giving us plenty of, of options for privacy uh, behind home sites. Uh, and then obviously, you know, they're starting construction on homes here now as well. So this is a, a great uh, area for if you're looking for a single family home. Um, some real, there's a couple of really nice lots back in that cul-de-sac there as well. But this is definitely something to consider, something to come out and look at to say, you know, does this fit um, the needs and what you're looking for. Uh, after we're done here, which we're we kind of just do like a big circle here. We made, made a left, we're coming up on that uh, lot 201 right up here uh, that we made a left at. We're gonna make, we're gonna uh, go up and make a left and head toward the, uh, the clubhouse so that we can see the clubhouse and then check out another specific phase in this community where they are building twin homes. 
so it's an option in order to be able to get into the community at um, a lower price point still get a really well built shell brothers home which is great um, it just it's a twin home so you know you have someone on one side of you it's not a town so it, it is just a one building with a divider between it but they're really they're they're pretty beautiful homes i actually have uh a, i'll put a link here to a walkthrough tour that i did on a uh, bristol spec home and then soon i'll be doing an actual walkthrough tour of the specific model that they just uh, recently completed here in this in this section of uh, peninsula lakes so right now we're on the back side of the community center we have this big uh, pond here on the left hand side with three fountains in it this is a stocked pond so they do stock this with fish and you are allowed to fish in it um, as you can see there's a pier that comes out you can go down there and fish and then on the back of the community you can see there's seating out there there's a gas fireplace with hardscape benches around it there's so much that you can do uh, at the community center that's located on that pond it's really it's really nice it's, it's uh it's a very pretty setting we're going to go around here and pull into the parking lot so you can see the community center from the front or the clubhouse from the front uh, there is a, a really nice a really big gym uh, located in the community in the clubhouse big bar seating areas coffered ceilings pool tables ping pong shuffleboard fireplaces outdoor fireplaces outdoor grills for cooking and you know there's uh, so much to do in this community um, at the clubhouse and they and the social committee does a really good job of having a lot of events for residents here line dancing and they have a whiteboard when you go in that explain all of the upcoming events that they have um, planned so the clubhouse on the left hand side these windows off to the, on the left side is going to be the uh, the gym then we have the main gathering space in the middle and then off to the right is the gaming area which is where the fire there's a fireplace there and the bill, billiard table ping pong shuffleboard and then we have our pool so our pool is a big um, big pool area it has a lazy river that goes around it, it has a separated uh, kind of like lap two lane lap area uh, there is it is an infinity entrance so you just walk into the pool and there is a ledge across the back to where they have uh, lounge chairs you know uh, chaise lounges that are recessed so there's a, a lip that's maybe five or six inches deep that those chairs sit in so when you're sitting on them you're actually in the pool but it's, it's a very shallow ledge that goes around a portion of it so that's real nice they do also have a separate clubhouse and pool house so when people that are using the pool, they're not running into the clubhouse to use the bathroom sort of get changed and getting the floors all wet. They use the bathhouse and the people in the clubhouse use the clubhouse. Kids splash zone here. So that's really, that's fun for when you have, either if you have kids or if you have uh, friends that have kids that come to visit you or grandkids, whatever it may be. It's nice to have a separate designated area for that um, other than just swimming. It makes, makes it interesting, you know, fun way of, a living life here a lot of people here do have uh, golf carts so they are you know they come home park the car hop in the golf cart and you know go to friends houses or come to the clubhouse or whatever it may be to be utilizing a club uh, a golf cart um, is not only convenient but it, it adds a, a fun you know a, a unique way of making it feel like you're almost like you're on vacation all the time there's something about driving a golf cart um, that just makes life fun so a lot of people in here do have golf carts now we are coming up there's a secondary entrance exit to the community which is where we are heading out of out of now we've never come in or out this way before it was always through that main entrance that we came in but this is where the, the Bristol Twin Home section is. And you can see off to the left here, the greenhouse, the blue house, the looks like maybe a beige house. These are all Bristol Twins. The greenhouse, not the greenhouse, but the blue house on the right side is where the model is. So it's a very nice, uh, it's a beautiful model. It's just in there, in there the other day. Um, but a lot of options in here. This starting around 409. Um, 
in and you have obviously options to add on and upgrade and things like that but it really allows you to get into being in the area being in uh, you know just you know a very short distance away from you know the you know bay life and and things like that um, you know it's, it's a great primary residence because it does have the owner suite on the first floor um, but it's also great for a secondary beach home because it has the potential of a lot of bedrooms on this on the second floor uh, there's there's even an option to have walk up stairs access to the attic for storage so you don't have to do one of those pull down things you just you know open the door and walk up and be right up in the attic where it's floored off and it's really big and open i will be doing a model tour of that home uh soon and i'll be posting that also so this is the option all the bristols uh you know this section these twins are all bristols so you either have a left or a right side there are some changes in elevation shell brothers has decided which elevations are going where but you would pick which site plan or, or which home site you want and you get to pick the inside fit and finishes that you would want on the inside so um, again great option for if you're looking to have a secondary home or if you're looking to get into this community or this area at a little bit of a more affordable price point that's definitely something to consider but that pretty much wraps up our driving tour here at Peninsula Lakes, located in Millsboro, Delaware. Again, I think this is maybe my second or third update drive tour here. Um, it is a popular one. A lot of people really like this community a lot. Um, so let me know if you have any questions at all about Peninsula Lakes or about Shell Brothers or really anything that has to do with real estate in coastal Delaware. Again, my name is Corey with the Corey Mayo team at Ocean Atlantic Sotheby's and I specialize in new construction, client relocation, and coastal Delaware real estate. So please feel free at any point in time with any questions to shoot me up an email at Corey, C-O-R-Y, at Coastal Life. De as in Delaware.com. You can also give me a call at 302-466-5511. And don't forget, if you like this video, hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit the notification bell so that way uh, you're notified the next time I upload a new video. I hope you have a great rest of your day. I hope you love this video and I look forward to hearing from you soon. Bye.